Blackbusters. What's cracking with a fan bam? This is Blackbusters, the best movie critic podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. In the world. Craig. And I'm your host, Big Ja. Mm -hmm. And this is my co-host, Brother Tone. Brother Tone. Yes, sir. Big Tone. Yes, sir. And we got a special guest in the building. My partner. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The good man. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. <laughs> My boy, brother Dean Will. Hey, yes, sir. What's up, man? Welcome, man. brother. I'm very happy you are here. Man, thank you for having me. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we about to have a hell of a time, bro, because yes, this film that we about to talk about uh -huh. is like a, it's a hood classic. Mm -hmm. It's a hood um, classic. And for several, for several reasons. Um, and I'm just going to get to it. We are doing the film Soul Plane. Soul Plane. Soul, Soul Plane. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, Soul Plane, <laughs> man, it was, uh, it was written by Bo Zenga and Chuck Wilson. Bo Zenga? And, and directed Chuck. by Jesse Terrero. Okay. All right. And uh, this movie, Soul Plane, came out with 2004. Four. Two, 2004. 2004. Mm. Yes, indeed. All-star cast. All-star cast. All-star cast. Even yes. all-star cast. For the year in which it came out, yeah. right. right? Like even right. in two thousand and four, yes, this cast mm -hmm. was, was exceptional. Yep. Yes, indeed, yep. and uh, that's why it's a, it's a classic. It's a hood classic, um, not necessarily because it did well in the box office, but because it resonated with the with the hood in a weird way. Because it was, I think, at the time, I think even Kevin Hart said it. It was probably probably the most bootlegged film right of that year yeah um so a lot of people didn't see it in the movie theater <coughs> like myself included i saw it on uh dvd mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i had just graduated from college in 04 and uh this movie came out and i i didn't even see it in the theater I, I, maybe i did i know for a fact i had the dvd back then when right it first came out i thought it was great and this is the kevin hart before he was mm -hmm. right before he, you know what I'm saying? LOL Network, Young, yeah, yeah. K Heart Productions. Young voice, yeah, Kevin Hart. Yeah, this is, yeah, he, he had the baby voice still. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. yeah. So he's, he's still off Paper Soldiers, Kevin yeah. Hart. Right. It's still Paper Soldiers, Kevin Hart, basically. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is this before the cameo in um, Scream uh, uh, 40, year old, 40 Year Old Virgin? Ooh. I think, I, this, I think this 40 Year Old Virgin came before. Yeah, I think so too. Probably. So if, if we look at okay. 40 year old virgin, when that come out? Uh, that came 03? out in. Oh, 03. Yeah, it had to be like 03, 04. That came out in 2000. Nope, nope, nope. I clicked on the wrong shit. Give me a sec. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, That's 40 a good question, though. Yeah. That is a good question. Because that to me I is the was set. In high school when both of those. That was the, yeah, that was the, the uh, set to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that one saying? right there. Yeah, that one took him. <laughs> That's crazy how one scene man. can do so much for an actor. Man, man. Um, he was grinding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Forty Year Old Virgin grinding. comes out in two thousand and five. I, oh, I, I, wow. I thought I thought so. It mm -hmm. came out right after. Yep. Okay. Um, because honestly, Soul Plane didn't hit as much as it was supposed to. You know what? I probably didn't see Soul Plane until after though. Like oh, a lot man. of probably, prob a lot of people. That's probably what I'm saying. It was, you you saw it on DVD. After. It had yeah. Soul Plane had weird. Word of mouth energy, yeah, right? Right. That's why I call it a classic it because people yeah. loved it, right? And then there were people that said, "Don't no. you see it? Right. right? If you support this, you supporting some coonish, yeah? You know what I right, mean? Right, like right, you know, right, right, right. so it was right. had very weird, like it was some stereotypical, you stuff know, in there very sure. very weird energy surrounded. It's I feel you, and I agree. At the mm -hmm. same time, so playing was very. uh Wayne's brotherish, mm -hmm. very don't be a menace. -ish. Yeah. Yes, you know what I'm saying. The wood yeah. was a different type of comedy. Mm -hmm. right. Soul Plane's a different type of comedy. Right. You know what I'm saying. Um, I thought it was good to see Kevin Hart uh, lead be the, be the leading man, mm -hmm. and to me, it worked. I I felt like he was a star then. Yeah. You know I know mm -hmm. he had his own TV show back in the day. I don't yeah. know if you know that he had his own <laughs> TV show back in the day. Mm -hmm. His own TV pilot. Right. It got right. canceled, so it never really did anything past like a season. Um, mm -hmm. But that was back when he was even younger. Right. But mm -hmm. like uh, 04, Soul Plane, I saw the star status in them. Then I was like, this dude is dope. I mean, mm -hmm. of course, we all know. I mean, it, it wasn't hard to see. Yeah. Right, right. But like, so this is getting to the, the storyline. Uh, Kevin Hart's the lead character, the main character. He plays a character named Deshaun Wade. Deshaun mm -hmm. Wade was a boy who grew up loving planes. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? His mom 
put planes in this uh, nursery and stuff like that, like mm-hmm. little toy planes mm-hmm. and stuff. Nope. So they stayed by the airport. They stayed by the airport. Yeah. So he at one scene where the plane. You know right. I said, yeah, "Whoa, hit the wall. that's kind of close." He said, "My my mom would take me out to the backyard while she would fold laundry, would hang up laundry, and so the planes can go over." The plane was like literally the wheel, oh, like bumper head. Yeah. I but said, that's man, how Inglewood is in, in some parts, right? Right. Oh, some yeah, parts sure. of Inglewood, Inglewood and Hawthorne, like, man. You, it's loud as hell, yeah. bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, uh, so that's how he grew up. He loves planes. And then the beginning of the movie, he starts off on the flight, right? right. Um, a flight. He has his dog. He has like a little chihuahua mm-hmm. right. or like a mini Doberman pincher <laughs> type <Yep>. dog. <laughs> and they said, you can't take the plane. You can't take the dog on the plane. You got to check the dog. Oh, yeah. So true. they made him check the dog. Uh-huh. So he gets on the plane. Uh, the the the, the uh, the service wasn't very good. Yeah. Like, yeah. he was sitting next to a woman, but he also was being obnoxious, too. Yeah, he was. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Like, so it wasn't like he was a victim. He was, was already kind of like an asshole. Right, right. He like, was like, just stroking up. Like, yeah, like yeah. after he had ate it, <laughs> hey, just be stroking. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? tripping on it. He was mad about it at first. <laughs> at first, it was like, uh. But he loved it. He loved it. <laughs> That's so, uh, it's funny, bro. Like, yeah, it was he funny. sat down next to the woman, the white woman, uh-huh. and uh, the, the the lady came by, the stewardess came by. She was like, oh, so he's like um, for the for the meal, right? For the dinner. <laughs> right, right. Um, chicken or be stroking off. Yeah. And the wife, the, the woman was like, I'll have the chicken. Yeah. And she right. got the chicken. He was like, oh, that looks good. Yeah. Smells good, too. She was like, she was, sir, what would you like? Uh, the chicken yeah. or the be stroking off? He was like, oh, I'll have the chicken. Yeah. You know, the chicken. Yeah. Same, same thing yeah. she got. <laughs> and then she was like, and we don't have any more chicken. Why you ask me? <laughs> Why would you ask me what I wanted? Right. Right. She stared at him. She stared at him like <laughs> I had the beef stroke. The beef stroke was bubbling. But, but yeah. Why they make beef stroke look like this? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, it's a bad, all, like it's a bad. Beef stroke off is fire. Right. I mean, it's not a bad option at all. Right. True. But maybe the, on a plane. Maybe. The way he was loving it afterwards, though, yeah, was, he was, was, was oh hilarious. <laughs> he was big, that shit was hilarious. And then instantly he had the bubble guts. Instantly. Let's that, talk about about how like how poor the sets were. Like like the, the set in the bathroom, like when he goes into the bathroom. That's the biggest. That's the biggest. That's, that's the biggest. Big airport. Airport. Wow, that's nigga. That's I'm the flying, largest. I'm, bro, you see me, bro. I see you. Come on. Uh-huh. I, I see you. Uh huh. Come bro, on. Bro, I sometimes if I can go through a whole flight without taking a piss, I, I will use I the will. bathroom. You know what I'm saying? I'm yep. damn ain't taking a dump. I'm gonna get stuck in there. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I have to literally like pee and Bruh. not move yep. at all. Man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Even the turbulence don't even bother me because I'm not going nowhere. Right. I'm not getting mm-hmm. jostled around right. like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just here. Stuck. So the bathroom is is always uh, a tough situation for the plane rides. That for me. shit was huge. But in this movie, the plane, it, it looked like a bathroom that's bigger than some apartment bathrooms. Yeah. Yes. It, look, it looked like a bathroom it, from like an old Vegas hotel. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, was, like yeah, brown. It was and and very nice. Nice. Yeah. It was really nice. Old yeah. spacious. Old it set. was spacious. Yeah. So... He sat down. He got the he got the bubble guts. He got to take a dump, funny. and then uh, the a plane is turbulence. Mm-hmm. Right, right. He gets stuck in the he gets stuck in the in the toilet, mm-hmm. and then uh, long story short, there's an accident. There's no accident, but they kill his dog. Something right. happens with the plane. I mean, there was an accident. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Oh, I'm sorry, it was an accident. The flight and, uh, intended. Mm-hmm. Flight intended. She hit the wrong button. She hit the wrong button, and so opened it, it opened up the cargo. His dog got uh, smashed and uh, got. <sighs> Obliterated, oh, obliterated, mm-hmm. and um, they landed. And can you do a scene like that today? I think, you, uh, I think maybe you, so. I think you could still <laughs> get it wrong just, with the with the accident. Like every now and then, I'll see a scene where somebody will like like kick the shit out of a cat, like right, punt, right, punt right. a cat, mm-hmm. you know, fifty yards or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll still let you be, be yeah, mean yeah, animals yeah. every now and then, okay. right. but it's got to be like obviously fake. Is that, right, exactly. right, yeah. exactly. And so, but this is this is eighteen years ago. Yeah. It was yeah. it was it was on all kind of shit back then. Right. And remember right, the um the Wayne's brothers was hitting old ladies up in the air. Oh man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Human beings up in the air. Oh, uh-huh. And uh so um yeah, so he gets it he, he gets uh he he hurts his ass too, his ass can turn right. in the process. So now he's in court and long story short, he sues the the uh company Worldwide Air or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. And he gets a hundred million dollars. Yeah. A hundred million. Yeah, a hundred million dollars. Great premise. Great setup yeah. for the for the movie. Uh-huh. On yeah. my on my rewatch, I'm like, this all makes sense. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is funny. Like what I will say is, is that like the weigh-ins are the best at doing this kind of like mm-hmm. comedy. Right. Like as soon as we start to get into the black shit, yeah. right? Like, yeah. you know, like, you know, black people can be a can be the joke 
too. Right. 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 Like, right. but there's sure. a way to do it uh-huh. that's that's funny. And and uh-huh. the Wayans have mastered oh, yeah. they, you they know, did. making black people to butter the joke or black yeah, culture to butter the joke mm-hmm. by still kind of like doing well. Right. So but at this point in the movie, I'm feeling like, okay, like uh-huh. yeah. this is this this is this is tight. This is right. good. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking in, with it. I'm, yeah. in rock, I'm rocking with uh-huh. it. Mm-hmm. Some niggas to do if they want a hundred million. Yeah. He said, <laughs> I'm gonna start an airline. Mm-hmm. And honestly, that's not even a bad that's a that's a good investment. Right. I don't know how much it costs. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Um <laughs> but we the, can uh, see where they where, where they cut costs <laughs> as soon as we start nah, to get man. To, the, right. to the plane and man. so when you get to and, and, and the, it's that terminal X. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, dope. I love right. that. The yeah. Terminal yeah. Malcolm X. Yeah. It's so great. And so um, it was, it had the 99 cent store. The 99 cent store. <laughs> I have the a, 90, there's a 99 cent store up the street from my house. It uh-huh. looks the same exact way Bro. 18 years later. Yeah. They haven't changed nothing. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, they had the, the 99 cent store. They had the Roscoe chicken. The terminal waffles. was fire. When the they, terminal was lit. They had, yeah. a, they, had a, they had a basketball court. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> they had a barbershop. They, hooping, they hooping, bro. Yeah. yeah. It just seemed like you could go there and just kick it. Yeah. You ain't even got to have a flight. There was nothing right. wrong with any of these jokes. Nothing was, was I agree. All of because these jokes were funny. it was all black, but yep. it was all good. It was all luxury stuff. I mean, right. the 99 store is cheap, but right. I grew up on that. I still right. go to it right now. Yep. We, you know we understand why it was in there. Exactly, <laughs> man. So, uh, and then you go inside the airplane. It's dope. Dope. Except low class, low class, except was, man, low class, class. Low but class low class was, was hilariously right. You know, low class. You probably see someone like me. You are gonna have more fun. I'm gonna have fun there, yeah, man. Fun yeah, class. you know what I'm saying. Low class was the, the TVs was fucked up in low class. First, I thought that was fucking hilarious. Right. <laughs> they, had, they had box they had, TVs. Yeah. They had a locker. They had, they had a locker. Put a coin in, in the locker. And they the had part Popeyes that, chicken. Well, uh, once they I'm got cool to the Popeye's yeah, chicken, Popeye's I thought chicken that cool. was hilarious. Bro, the part of the, the napkin. Come yeah, on, man. The part of the plane that had me crying is there was one section of the plane where you just had to stand. Yes. Like yeah. subway <laughs> shit. <laughs> the the subway, subway <laughs> bus shit. Fucking hilarious. Nah, I, said, yeah. I love it. Hilarious. That this is funny. dope. All of this is working. Mm-hmm. All of I this agree. is working. I agree. Um, so he he gets uh, he makes his own airline, creates his own airline. It's called NWA, uh, Nashawn Wade Airlines. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's so far so good. And uh, it's their first flight. Mm-hmm. This day is their first flight. Um, Tom Arnold's character, he's a his his last name is Hucky. I mean Hunky. 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 Hilarious. And he has a he has uh, two kids. <laughs> the quintessential uh, white family. Mm-hmm. Right. The guy with a uh, well, he doesn't have his wife anymore, but he has his his new his new his girlfriend. New bombshell. Right. That's like a bombshell blonde. Yeah. Yeah. Using him for his status and money. Right. And breast and enhancement. Breast enhancement. Yeah. Breast enhancements. Mm-hmm. He has the. The daughter that's almost grown that thinks she knows yeah. it all. That's right. The about to get turned out. Yeah. yeah. Becky. The young son, this is highly privileged, but he's about 11, 12 years yeah. old and yeah. he wants to be 50 he, cent. Right. He's tapped in with that's the what's, coach. With the that's what's coach. so funny is, is the way the terminal turned him out. Oh, man. It quit. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, quit. <laughs> quit. I mean, like, they, <laughs> they just sat down and it they was a wrap. They sat down and it was a boy. The right. boy showed up. Blinged out, blinged out, dog. <laughs> Remember the the, the band that uh, the 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 sweatbands around the head, mm-hmm. yeah, the velour fits, all that, man. Uh, he was fitted, he was fitted for sure. Uh, and so now their flights get their flights wherever they're going gets canceled. New York. They're going to New York. Yeah, they're going to New York. Uh, they gets canceled. So she's like, "Oh, you know how a lot of times it's an inconvenience that you your flight is canceled, but we'll get you another flight on another airline." Right. They found them another flight for all four of them on NWA. Cool. Where's it at? It's the Terminal X, and they go to the hood, basically right. the hood of the mm-hmm. airport, and they have to take this flight. They're the only white people on the flight. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? And and it's an experience for all of them. But what, well, before you keep going, all right. So you, the part where, where, uh, where the old lady is seems like she's taking long. I don't know if y'all think about this, mm-hmm. but when I'm getting served and like it just seems like it takes forever, I'll be wondering like, what are she you playing doing? a video game? Yeah, <laughs> what you doing? Yep, yep. And she was she was over there playing Street Fighter or some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, like uh, sometimes I be thinking to myself, why is it? Whenever I get to a line, I show my ID. Mm-hmm. They print out my boarding pass. Boom. And I'm leaving. But usually when I'm in line, it's always like a person taking eight to ten Man. minutes mm-hmm. just to just to leave. And there's 20 people in line. Yeah. And I'm like, God damn, what the fuck right. are you doing? So you know what I'm saying? So I want to ask y'all, like, you know, like we got like the the, the premise of the movie. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll get in. Like, why like why do we think people were hating on this movie so much? Because like the reputation about Soul Plane is that it's a bad movie. People say it's a bad movie. It's mm-hmm. on like 
all of these lists, you know what I mean? Like, you know, top 50 worst films ever made. Like, by the time we get to the point where you kind of got in the story, yeah. everything is working. Flowing, everything yeah. is working. Everything is, I, I think it's all we funny. We haven't even got to the love interest yet. Yeah, like everything The rom-com is part of it. So like, so where do you think this movie, at what point does the movie go left? Not if you think it goes left, but like if you're playing devil's advocate and if, you have if, to say, this is when it starts to crumble under its own weight. I think. When, when does that happen? Because uh, it was Kevin Hart. Mm. Kevin? I do. I think it had it been, um, had it been uh, Ice Cube, mm-hmm. be different. Had it been Chris Tucker at the time, it'd be different. Had it been Martin or uh, not even Dave Chappelle yet. Mm-hmm. Dave Chappelle, Half Bake was his soul plan. Right. Nobody, mm-hmm. Right, right, right. So, so, yeah. Right. Yeah. so I, I think he mm. wasn't big enough yet. If if Kevin Hart did soul plan now, it'd be a hit film. Big enough mm-hmm. to carry the movie. For sure. Yeah. Mm. And he, he did a great job. The talent was still there and he did nothing different. I don't see a difference between him now and in 2022, then him at 2024. Yeah. I'm mean, 2004. Uh, the the talent there, the right. jokes, the the look. He look well, obviously he's older, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I don't think he was a big enough star yet. And I think, and I, this is just my opinion, because mm-hmm. uh, I feel like everybody in that film went on to do bigger shit. Right. Right. So it this was, is it just young. Right. They was just yeah. like yeah. Just the, they were they was young in in a thing. I so after watching Soul Plane, I rewatched Airplane. The, ori- ah, the original, of you know, Shirley, don't call me Shirley. airplane. Because okay. to me, I feel like those they these are sibling films, yes. right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, so they're both like very tongue in cheek. They're right. they're comedy. Mm-hmm. They're gag based. Like yeah, like Soul right. is a gag based movie. Right. They go from like story gag, story gag, right. story gag. Right? right. So like you know when they announced that like the daughter is eighteen years old and everybody should come up to the club and like the football players come running down. Oh, there like that's a great gag. Yeah. Yes. That's a great gag. Yes. Like you know when they cut from what they're eating in first class. You know would you like the the lobster or da 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 to mm-hmm. low class and they're handing out like Popeye's, Popeyes chicken, chicken. napkin. Great gag, right? Like, right. like, 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 good little gags. I think what it is 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 that like, a, I think you're right. Like Kevin Hart as the lead, you know, like, like he's trying to fall back in love. He's trying to get the plane safe. He doesn't have like like one clear motivation that he's yeah, trying to right. achieve, right? Yeah. Not one clear thing. And then all of the other characters around him all have like inexplicable motives as well. Right, I don't know right. what anybody is really doing right. Yeah. here, right? Like, like yes. I don't know, like, why the couple <coughs> wants to fuck in the, in the sky so much, right. right? Like, you know, like, like why do they want right. to fuck so much in the sky? Right. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. that doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Like, like. Talking so, about DJ and yeah, DJ and yeah. some more. Like, yeah. That's how I feel. Like, if I'm being critical about it, like, I, I feel like it wasn't no story arc for nobody. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Except it's, for his, his, his and Giselle's, but. It was, and it, well, was, it wasn't for Tom Arnold's character yeah, for the show, right. and I and I feel like man, maybe he could have went through a little more. Like it wasn't wasn't that much he was going through. So Tom, Tom, like oh. all, all, all of them really didn't know. Okay. You know what I mean? So, Kevin, mm-hmm. and for really, show. if you think about it, the the films, uh, the films turning point, like the not the there there was no real the antagonist was. Just a plane not right. being flown right. Snoop. Right. Snoop, <laughs> Snoop, 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 right. Snoop, Snoop, Snoop is the villain. Yeah. Snoop is That's the, the villain. That's the only thing they're Snoop going to do is the plane. Yeah. And he passed out. Right. That was, and now they got to find out who can fly this plane. Right. right. At that point, it's like, I mean, that's very airplane-ish. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's not like it's a bad idea. Right. It just didn't like, it should, had it been like a villain yeah. Had it had it been like somebody on the on the plane that was trying to rob, yeah. trying to, it could have been somebody from the worldwide. Uh, the the, uh, right. the mm-hmm. It could have been somebody trying to yep. sabotage yeah. the plane like, success flight and stuff like that. Like if it wasn't so obvious that Snoop was ill prepared to be right. the, the pilot, that's right. what I'm saying. the gag might have worked a little yeah. bit better. So we already know that that Snoop's going to be a fucked up pilot. Right. <laughs> right. 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 So like it's it was on the so, nose. So nothing that happens to Stoop is surprising right, right. from that point on. But it's mm-hmm. like, okay, so it doesn't work. Like the like that particular gag. It's almost like like, you know, like we all play played sports. Mm-hmm. And like sometimes the team loses. And like when I think of movies, I kind of like think of them in terms of sports, because movies and sports is like the two things that I love. Okay. So sometimes, like it's not that the team is bad. 
Mm-hmm. Right? right? It's just that they just made a series of poor decisions yeah. down the stretch. Right. Yeah. It's not that soul food. Right. It's not that soul plane is bad. It's right. not that soul plane is bad. It's, mm-hmm. it's great. Yeah. But they made a series of of like unexplained decisions mm-hmm. that ultimately bring the film down. Right. A little bit, right? Like, yeah. you know, because it's fucking brilliant. Like, it's, it's, I think it's a really smart, funny movie, but there are certain things that I'm just like, I don't even know if this was necessary yeah. or it just doesn't make any sense. Right. Yeah. Or I don't buy it. Right. 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 Uh, I don't buy that um, Muxy hired Snoop Dogg. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and I mean, he did it. He did mm-hmm. in the movie, but like, right. Gaming uh, is a real pilot. And so the other black dude, mm-hmm. but the but the but the nigga that's driving. So uh, why would you let? Why would Nashawn Wade allow his his cousin, who mm-hmm. is a, a, a loyal and mm-hmm. traditional fuck up, right? Hire the mo- do the hiring of the most important piece of the flight, mm-hmm. right? Which is the damn pilot. Mm-hmm. Yep. Come on, bro. Yep. Right. That didn't make sense. So at that point, sometimes I watch a film and I'm like, okay, they forcing certain things. Mm-hmm. They're forcing certain funny. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, making Snoop the pilot. Okay, I, I, he, he looked dope in the khaki, the khaki uh, pilot suit. That was right. dope. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I don't think he did a bad job. A bad job acting. No, I think he did. I think he did a great job. Okay. I, just, funny. I don't think they did his character any Justin. any favors. Right. Mm. Right. Right. Like they didn't. They didn't like Witherspoon's character. Right, like you know, oh, funny, man. hilarious, funny. Yeah. but like, but I, mean, I don't know why he's here. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, like, 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 give him something more to do. Oh uh, man, if he could have, if he could have been in more scenes, yeah. going throughout, like, mm-hmm. throughout the whole plane. Yep, yeah, that would have been funny. Give him more to do. You got right. DL in 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 the, the, in the, in the bathroom. The I, I feel like, like give him more to do. Yeah. Right, like, I you feel know? like when they wrote this, mm-hmm. I don't think it was written for a star studded cast. I think it was written. In Cameos, general, no, not even that. Mm-hmm. I think it was written just to have a cool little comedy, right? And then they got a budget. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then they say, okay, who's okay, the we can put, Kevin we can Hart, put this person. Kevin Hart's yep. a, a budding star. Yep. Let's get a. We got the money. We, oh, we can get DL. Mm-hmm. We can get money. We, we can get one of the kings of comedy and one of the queens of comedy in it. Yep. Mm. Oh, two of them. You yep. know what I'm saying? Two of them. <laughs> Bam. And then, um, but his character, um, DL Hooley, his character. Is only in three, four scenes. And, yeah, in the bathroom, and you right. don't even let him cook. Like, yeah. like at least with Monique, they let oh, Monique yeah. cook. Oh, Monique, yeah. Monique did yeah. Monique shit. Baby girl was like, "Oh, Man. my tooth hurt," and Man. she was like, "Yeah, just fucking with your breath, right? Ooh, don't breathe no more." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just hilarious. They let, but they let Mo cook. Yeah, they let yeah. Monique cook the whole movie, right. Right. which is great. They let Snoop do Snoop shit uh-huh. the right. whole movie, right? But yeah. you got DL. And it's just like I don't even yeah. know what, what we doing with DL, right? Right, yeah, like you DL, know, I t- feel like DL should have been he should have been Gaiman's character without being game. He, yeah, been, but the co-pilot should have been a pilot. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then Gaiman should have been inside the bathroom mm-hmm. doing that, yep. uh, doing his thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can opinion, see that. You know I can see that. Saying? Like, like I don't think you needed like Tom Arnold's wife at all. Mm-mm. I don't think you needed her at all. You know what I mean? Like her you know, lust after the the big black dude. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Like unless you give me like a hilarious ass sex scene. Yeah. Right. Like you know where like right. she getting like piped down and right. like you know uh, her eyes yeah. bug out. Into oblivion. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Like okay. She really get turned. Like out. all right. Mm-hmm. Then pay that off for me. Right. Like you know. Like, all she did was talk to him the whole. All she did was yeah. talk and look at the magazine and then basically disappear. Bro. So I'm just yeah. like, okay, we could have spent no more time right letting DL cook. You know what right. I mean? Like, you know, or some of these other guys. Like, we we didn't need that. The daughter, um, mm-hmm. aside from, like, the football gag, you know, where, where, the, where the players run down, right. like, give me something with her. Right? right. Like, right. you know, like, or, you know. They had a scene where they made up. Mm-hmm. It was cool, but, it's like. necessary. It's like, okay, they didn't go. Like, what, what made her change her mind to be able to talk to her dad and be like, mm-hmm. I love you, dad. Like she didn't really right. go through nothing for that. Yeah, that really happened. That's right. what I'm saying. They it just came out of nowhere. Yeah. That she, I'm going to talk to my dad, and, yeah. and, and we're going to be all good now. That's where the movie, as funny as it is, starts to collapse right. yeah. under its own weight. Right. Right. It's like in between these funny ass moments, right. like you said, yeah. there's no real like story yeah. there. And not that we need like a really good one. Sure, right, we don't. Do. Right, like I like, just need one. Don't be a menace. Has a story, right? Right, right? like you know, and they got all of these gags around and it's it. Parody, yeah. right? Short parody, 
Like, it's a straight okay. line though. Yeah. Like, like, like you, like you get it. Like with mm-hmm. Soul Plane, it's just like you doing so, so much so, going on. It's so right. much going on. But like, even like when they were in the cockpit, I was watching they were in the cockpit, and one of the back screens of the cockpit was like 2K on the screen. Like somebody's playing like 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 uh, like, yeah, like and I was yeah, just like now that's fucking funny. Yeah, you know what right. like, but, it's, <laughs> but 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 the gag is missed. How do y'all feel about all the some more in uh which kind of scenes? The six. Um, um, yeah. The only only thing I like was a lot of them, right? It, it wasn't we, we we didn't need them at all. Yeah, but only reason why I say we did we did is only for that one scene. My favorite one of my favorite lines he was smashing her. And he, he, he shot off too early. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheese, yeah, yeah. eggs, grits, just in the sun. I see. Yeah, yeah. I st- that's what my yeah, favorite yeah, yeah. Young dude, I it's great. <laughs> man, that's that's how when you bust one, that's what you yeah. say, yeah, bro. Cheese, eggs, Ooh, grits, just in the sun. I see. I said that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if he ad libbed that. Or if that was actually in the script. Either oh, way, it's hilarious. Yeah. I just needed to know like why it was so important. That they that they fucked at forty thousand feet, right? Like that would right. help me make like everything else that they did would make so much more sense. Like why they under the blanket in first class? Right. Why they trying to smash in the bathroom? Right. Why he's trying to get to the cockpit? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like I don't understand why all of this is happening. So it kind of you know, and 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 I guess that's the other thing. Like like I like we're doing a good job of sharing what we love about the movie and some right. of the critiques is, but the movie is hella oversexed for some reason. Because yeah. right, like and like Sophie Sophia Vergara, mm, God bless her. Oh my God. Like her, like her shit is over sex. Right. You know what I mean? Been, like she's uh, in order for her to uh, remember how to like, land the plane, she gotta lean back. Yeah, that's what's funny. Every time her getting smashed, <laughs> yeah. ass and, and game his face. You see her panties and everything. Yeah. I'm like, I'm cool with it. Yeah. But right. I mean, yeah. it wasn't necessary. Right. Um, it's overly sex for sure. Um, <laughs> Man, just John like what would come in grabbing ass and titties. Right. <laughs> how did you? How did you? <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> he finger banging a uh, 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 baked potato, yeah, man. Oh, uh, he said, "Ooh, he nice." He and the, and the thing a little is, puddle. like <laughs> John, I could I couldn't see you. And again, like you do comedy, right? Right, like you do comedy. Uh-huh. I can't see you like scripting, uh-huh. and then the blind man finger bangs a a, a baked potato, right? Right, like you I'm know, he'll take that out. So, yeah. so it's just like, but but like I said, like I could see you like the 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 drink cart. Has Colt forty five and Alize. Yeah, I thought yeah, that yeah. was fucking for funny, sure. for sure. Right, like yeah. I like I, I thought that yes. was funny, right? Sure. Uh, the Popeyes chicken with the with the napkin, sure. mm-hmm. the paper towel. Yes. Yep. So that um, so like that to me like that's an example that right. of, a, of a decision. Yeah. yeah. Somebody made a decision that we're gonna we're gonna finger bang a a a, a, a baked potato, right? Like you know. I think well, like a no better, baby. like I think a better <laughs> filmmaker wouldn't make that decision. Right. And I think too many times they make the wrong call. Right, 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 right. You know, the only part that has me okay with him figure banging the potato yeah. is for the punchline afterwards. <laughs> stinky pinky. <laughs> uh, That's great. That I love that line. He says stinky pinky, yeah. bro. It has, <laughs> it has its moments. It has it's its moments. Women love me. Yeah, like. Well, John Witherspoon, he kills in every role he mm-hmm, does. Right. Bro. I wish he was further. I, I wish there was a reason why he was there. Mm-hmm. You're a blind man. Where you going? You go to. You going to go? Yeah. Right. He should have had someone with him. Right. Maybe to play off of him or something like that. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I I do want to get to his love interest, Jacelle. Uh, mm-hmm. okay. Um. She, <laughs> at that point in time, during that time, she was like like the. She was the go-to girl. Girl. Yeah. She was girl to yeah, go for. You know what I'm saying? Um, she was okay. Nah. As an as an it girl yeah. or just, or in the movie? Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no, no, no. I yeah. get why they, she looks great. She yeah. looks amazing. Yeah, she's gorgeous. And um, I I just need I need a little bit more ump from her when it comes to her performances. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, yeah. I mean, that could have been Regina King. Or oh, Regina man. Hall. Regina yeah. Hall. Right. Oh, At that time, would have been bad. Oh, you know what I'm man. saying? Would have been funny. Oh, oh yeah. my God. She'd have brought so much right. to that. Yeah. Been... And, and so, no no disrespect to uh to, to Lil Mama to, Man, yeah. but um, it would have made that Katie. that that part of the story plot mm-hmm. stronger for me. Katie Arbert. And, and again. Katie Arbert, yeah. yeah. As, and, and to me, like, she totally doesn't even belong in the movie. Like, <sighs> like the side yeah. thing. You know what I mean? Like, right, you know, it's right. like an additional motivation for Kevin Hart. But it doesn't even really... the way she come on come we with her first like her first scene is yeah. just like it's like, oh wait, wait, this is a girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn, Nick, she she wanted to marry you. Like, she get married. Right, like, right. It's so it's it, uh, it, it, it pour on heavy, like too much. Yeah. And for, I guess for him to have 
like that part of the story was weird. The backstory of him getting the hundred million and mm-hmm. why he owns his airline makes sense, right? And then twenty minutes into the movie, oh, there's another flashback. Uh, I'm okay with him. We not we don't know we don't know who she is until mm-hmm. we find out. Oh, this is girl. I'm okay with that. Yeah, right. But like, yeah. oh, this is when I got away and. He was like, even how he, I guess he told her it's over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they had the, the sirens and the. Yeah, that shit was funny. Oh, yeah. It was, was kind of funny. funny. <laughs> it was funny, but it was like. But it was an unnecessary payoff. Like, it, it, it wasn't like, it wasn't like what, what we didn't hear. We get to hear later and it was like, oh, that fucking makes sense. Right. Right. right? Like, you know, all we know is that we just can't hear it. And it means they, nothing later. The other flashback is when he actually heard the girl talk to her dad mm-hmm. about how you're going to waste your time and yeah. waste your future on this guy. I get it. So he right. so he, he did the bigger thing, the best thing by saying, you know. How did she not know that he wasn't going to be there? Right? Uh, his name is all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, like uh, the airline is his initials. Right. Right? Like, you know, like how did she not know? And it's the first flight. Right. Right. Like, how does she not know <laughs> that he's not going to be there? Right. I, I was like picking nits on that. Right. Like, and, and she's trying to get him to walk away. Where like, you like where you going? Where yeah. you going? The door's already like, closed. Don't go cool back there. <laughs> right. You go to love class? I can still get to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was, uh, okay. Sometimes, it, so there was a couple forced things there. A lot yeah. of, uh, there was a few like plots that it didn't really make sense um, or weren't very, weren't very strong. At the end of the day, you knew that he was going to get back with her mm-hmm. and this mm-hmm. and the other and she was going to come. I, yes, it just wasn't strong. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the payoff wasn't that strong. You know what right. I'm saying? Oh, he got he got the girl again. Yeah, It, it should have been a girl if, if, if he was going to have a, it's like a rom-com as well. Mm-hmm. Right. It should have been a girl he met there. Mm-hmm. I agree. On the plane that just broke up with her. That dude helped him in the like crisis. That. Right. Yeah, that helped yeah. him, you know, figure it on out. On some passenger 57 shit. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Remember he got the stewardess that he didn't know, but they yeah. ended up being cool at the end of the movie? Yeah. 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 Uh shit like and that. that's and that's why that's why I think ultimately the the movie does its real funny parts a disservice. Because mm-hmm. it's too much going on. Yeah, like like you can you can spend enough time on with, other with anybody, right. right? Right, like you know, like like if you if you do some of the other shit, maybe Witherspoon is, ends up being the pilot to to mm-hmm. you know what I mean to land the plane, uh, right? Like that's that's a, that's, that's, a, that's, that's that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> right, man. that uh, uh, a if a blind man, that's the yeah. name. Right. Blind man, we find out he ain't blind at all, right? Because he you know he seemed like he grabbing these asses to right. deliver it, right? Exactly. Yeah. But you know, but ultimately he's the pilot to do it. Like like you know he's like, like uh, keep it a I'm little a blind tighter. man, but he realized if. I, this plane about to go down in flames. Mm-hmm. Let mm-hmm. me just not be blind right now. Right. Like, I got, I got, let me, let me uh, basically, uh, what's the shit called? Uh, blow my cover on mm-hmm. purpose right. to fly this plane. Take his glasses off. Move out the way, sucker. Yeah. And, and he, he starts flying. He lands yeah. the plane. Right. Maybe you go find the terrorist and go have him yeah. land the plane. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. I forgot about the terrorist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, like go, since you spent all this time on him. We know you know how to fly. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Go get him and, and then bring him in. You know. It was a quick gag that yeah. was cool. Like when he walked up with the suitcase, he, he, they didn't mm-hmm. reveal his face yet. Right. And he saw, oh, he's a Taliban dude. And they yeah. like, oh, fuck out of there. The Puerto Rican right. little Spanish dude was like, oh, fuck the fuck out of there. Mm-hmm. That shit was funny to me. <laughs> yeah. um, but like, we could have used him later. We could have used, used him later. Them later. You know what I'm saying? Since we gave yeah. him that much screen time, like we could have used him later. Because <laughs> the gag uh, of... Uh, I can, um, see, baby girl, I can see him making the, a stupid the stewardess, ass joke too. Right. The stewardess, <laughs> stupid ass joke. We're flying in, uh, yeah. flying in New York. Yeah, <laughs> right. Blanca uh, going ahead and um, That'd be and too uh, really uh, stopping the flight. Stopping that, time, the- that was two thousand four. My bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, when he um when he uh dropped the plane, I'm sorry. When was, when Blanca. Uh, flew the plane uh-huh. the way she flew it that wasn't funny enough yep. it was sexual but it wasn't mm-hmm. funny oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying him like somebody the the the, uh, the blind man uh, fly, uh, flying the plane and or uh, Taliban Taliban dude flying the plane is cool uh, they went and got gaming but he slipped and, yeah. and, and knocked himself out come on man yeah. it's unnecessary that's well, what I'm saying that's like, yeah. why did he go over there yeah. to ah. find him why would he why would, why would you find him if he wasn't right. gonna fly the plane you might as well just have him be stoned off the mushrooms also right 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 like it was unnecessary to put him in the hot tub. It was unnecessary, you know. Like, right. And and that's what that's what why this 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 movie is is 
like I love this concept yeah. right. of 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 like you know a it's black soul plane. Of, a, yeah. of a black soul plane soul airliner train, soul yeah. plane. and I think it does a lot of things well like uh-huh. you know hypnotic like it, it's a time uh-huh. capsule you yep. know they, yep. they have the Alice yep. they have uh-huh. the hypnotic they like shooting dice yeah, on yeah. You know, yeah the the the, the do rags you know yeah. what I mean uh-huh. like the large extra extra large button ups you know what I mean like right like it every, was definitely two thousand four for everything sure. works it's just mm-hmm. that like it just had no. Story and sometimes it felt like it was forced. Yeah, yeah. when they're like with the little John, little Johnny Eastside boys just being there, yeah. random, random, yeah. random cameo. Random. But then again, I'm sorry, let me fall back. It was a club there too. It was, mm-hmm. so, yeah. which was dope. Club, yeah. Which was another yeah, like yeah. that was the live that was part a great about decision. the plane, man. They had so much <laughs> live shit on the yeah. plane. Yeah. I language. would definitely ride. But then like, right. but then like they had like uh like like why is Carl Malone? Oh man, Carl Malone don't even about to call, man. <laughs> he don't mean nothing to us. Why is he Bruh. in the movie? Right? Like, like, why is Let's he even here? He, they was like, you know what? Let's get a basketball player. All right. And, and he just came to New York. Right. Mm-hmm. You know traded. what? This is what happened. When Carl Malone first came to the Lakers yeah. at the end of his career mm-hmm. for that one year, they were like trying to get him there and check said, You're gonna get a ring. You got you have access to Hollywood. We're gonna put you in the movie. Matter of fact, right. we'll put you in movies, and mm-hmm. this is one of the first movies they put him in. Yep, yep. Not yeah. even realizing. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> trash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it, it was a it was a cool little dialogue, but it mm-hmm. wasn't that. It cool. wasn't necessary. It wasn't yeah. And then you take homie from um from the wood. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, what's his name? Um. I can't think of his name, but yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, right? Lavinio. Yeah. Slim from the yeah, wood. Lavinio. Yeah, Slim. Right. Slim, yep. So like, like use him. Put him on the plane. Right, mm-hmm. right, like you know, but he didn't you, even make it to the plane. He didn't, you yeah. know, you That's, basically put him in the movie to get, you know, violated. violated. Right? <laughs> right, that was funny though. It was and, funny. And he's a great actor. Like, <laughs> yeah, give yeah, him yeah. something to do. Right, right? Yes. like I think, like I think to your point, like they had a working script, they had budget, and then it just started like filling shit in. Right, I think so. They had, oh, they had more money. Yeah. Cool, let's do this. Yeah, boom, let's get a little John. Yeah, yeah. I, I little keep... John was was like Foxy Brown in in uh in right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Except they actually performed. They actually did what they do. They weren't just sitting there. Right, right. Um, but yeah, man. It's it it's it is like, and this is what I want to talk to you guys about too. Especially like, you know, with the comedy. Like I feel like um like everything doesn't always need to be serious. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. And I feel like we need to to have more just very silly movies mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. like everything doesn't have to be rom-com we do a lot of rom-com right okay. like the wayans don't work like they used to anymore right so it's just like so nobody is doing that kind of like gag based humor yeah. right. anymore right like right. you know and I, I think it's a place for that it's a lane. like i think yeah. there's a lane for that like that type because like like this this movie ain't really satire Right, you know, it has a, it has, the it has, a, it has some vibes yeah, on it, but yeah. like you know, but it ain't really satire. But like the gags are fucking hilarious. Yes, the ones that work work. Right. Like and, right. and damn near right. every single gag works. Like yep. the, like the fact that they have a you know a, a bathroom guy like in the club, you know, yeah, right. with, a, yeah. with a black and mild and yes. all that. Yes. Like, yes. 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 like I think that kind of like shit works. But I don't know if anybody's doing that kind of humor. Nah, now that's us. That's our job, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's get it going, man. We got yeah, to, we got to, we got to bring man. that back. Excuse me, we got to bring that back, bro. Um, nah, yeah. We we talk about this, man. It's not enough. There's only when it comes to black humor, black comedy is is, is uh obviously um uh, Tyler Perry, mm-hmm. right? Um, uh, Will Packer. You know, in some way, he does a lot of rom com. Rom com, yeah. Um, that's but, his line, but yeah, like bro, yeah. not really this. Yeah, we ain't seen the wood. We ain't Man. seen. We ain't, you know what I'm saying movies like that. Mm-hmm. Um, even don't be a menace, right? Like just like that's a parody, but that, that, like, that's yeah. that's Wayne's Brothers, right? I, like, you know, I was talking about this Meteor Man, yeah, Man. type shit. I was talking about this with my fam Brave over man. over Thanksgiving, and again, like you know, everybody's you know huge fans of uh, you guys, so everybody wants Appreciate to know how you guys think you. and all that kind of stuff. And what we were saying is, is that, like, you know, like, filmmakers are so independent now mm-hmm. that, like, they much rather do smaller spurts of projects and control their narrative and story right. mm-hmm. than be at the mercy of the uh, studio, uh, right? Yeah, true. So, like, you know, so if, so if, a, if a studio comes to you and they go, like, job, we love everything that you do, 
we want to do like a remake of Soul Plane with the stu- with, from oh, a, the studio system. Do you do you take that project? Do you do that project, or do you stay away from that project? Me, you, I'm staying away, bro. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. I think um, damn near everybody that's um, good is going to stay away. Yeah, because I feel like that. I would have to have a deal to where if I'm working with a studio, they would say, "Bro, we just want to be a part of it. Yeah, you just, you do, do what you do. do. Mm-hmm. I don't need nobody. Not sitting there saying that I'm the the funniest dude in the world, the funniest writer. No, I'm not right. saying that at all. Mm-hmm. But I, I feel like I have. We both have enough work right. on our resume to where it's like I know what I'm doing. I don't need. Right. I, I'll, I'll take. Matter of fact, we just wrote. We we just wrote a whole web series together. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'll, I'll take. Um, I'll take advice. And suggestions from other creatives, other people, but not the right. studio. Right, yeah. studio don't know. They don't know what they're doing. Do you, know you think? Saying? Do you think that like today's audience is able to like even back when Soul Plane came out? Uh-huh. It wasn't that the jokes weren't funny, but you know, black people can be fickle on uh, on yeah. what we find funny. That's corny, cool, man. Right? You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. and so, you know, like the the Colt 45, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. on on the drink tray, uh-huh, and Alize yeah. in the drink tray. Like that shit is funny to me, but right. I certainly know people that would not find that funny. Right. Right? right. Like, you uh-huh. know, do you think like we could do gag humor like this like this anymore? It's, right. Ooh. That's tough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cuz the la- the last series of like gag humor movies were like the scary movies, right? Right. Like, you know, which which is basically Wayne's brothers Wayne's DNA. You know, white since, girls, you know, white since, yeah. you know, since they had it. But then again, I'm trying to think when was the last time it like it was a black movie just on some like gag humor shit. Is that shit gone? Like are we ever going to see another movie like Soul Plane again? I mean, it just feel like the times now. You know what I, I mean? Think like, the way to get into a the way to get into joke to funny is different now. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. for example, if you see, like, a, it's like seeing a girl. Well, when I see girls on on Instagram or TikTok with with balloons in their butt mm-hmm. to make it look like they got big butts, that was funny back when Sha- when Shanene was doing it. Okay, right, right, back in ninety six. 97, 98. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me seeing that now, I'm not going to laugh at that. Right. Now, maybe because I'm not a kid no more. Maybe that's why. Mm. So uh, That's very interesting, mm, Job. It's a that's, good take. That's very interesting because if you take any of like the funniest gags on Soul Plane and cut them up into a TikTok, I think they fucking work on their own. They'll kill. Uh, yeah. Right? Yes, like, they, like, like in that little piece, mm-hmm. in that little context. But I don't know if anybody... Has the skill to couple all of those together mm-hmm. into a into a film, right? But like you can get away with the, with the bit, yeah. But not the, how do you fit that into a story? Yeah, a full yeah, story. Exactly. man. I think the blind That's man the works part. still, because mm-hmm. I mean him, him being blind that always drink. is gonna work. Yeah, right. that, uh, there's blind guys mm-hmm. right now, right? Um, could you sit up there? Can you walk up? Because the gag would now be uh, Hennessy instead of Cold Forty Five. It'd mm-hmm. be Hennessy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it'd be Casamigo. Yeah, it'd be mm-hmm. Casamigo <laughs> yeah. as opposed to, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, with that. Uh, instead of balloons, you got BBLs. Right, BBLs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, BBLs. Oh, yeah. You, got, uh, you get bus yeah, shots on the plane. Because that, okay, that. so like, like, so, if, like if you do so, that, if you do that now, okay. you walk into the Malcolm X term, you know, terminal, and there's a there's BBLs a, to go. There's a BBL to go. Oh, there's man. a BBL store. That's like, yeah, so that's so that's you the can modern work. gag. You, you could. But the right writers, you yeah. can make you can make certain <laughs> gags hit. Right. Um uh the blind guy works, I will keep that guy, even though I will give him a bigger uh role. Mm-hmm. Um the people smashed on the plane. Um he I mean I, it was he was funny. Right. Uh, Brian Hooks was funny for sure, but that would that was that that that's that uh couple didn't need to be in this yeah. film. Right. I, f- I feel mm-hmm. like there was more more characters you could have dove in and did more, more and did more yeah. with yeah besides um, them uh <laughs> like um I feel like Snoop was I think he did a good job but he wasn't funny to me right uh Godfrey was, was hilarious he was yeah. Snoop and Snoop yeah. isn't funny. funny right um he's cool yeah he's cool he's that's he's that's a, how he played he's it. a dope right. name to put into a film right. But if I'm trying to, have, I wouldn't have gave him such a big role, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, and made his character not make any sense. I'm a pilot that's afraid of heights, right? Right. I throw up, then I get high, then I do my life. Right. Like this motherfucker was doing I, everything. Yeah. <laughs> I was drawing. Yeah. I was drawing on the bombs. 
Yeah, uh, you flew. You flew. You flew in Desert Storm. No, I drew on Desert Storm. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. fucking cheesy. Yeah. yeah, but like, but bro. I think like you could do that. Like you could do the the BBLs and 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 the stuff. Like you could kind of have that stuff. But but I think what Soul Food suffered from, which is, which is interesting because we give we give so the Wayans we give, we give the Wayans a Soul Plane. Apologies. Uh -huh. We give the Wayans a pass because we know Keenan's pedigree. Right, mm. so like even when he does some some stuff that like might be kind of coonish Man. or might be right. over there, yeah. we still it's, you're it's still keen and we still yeah. we still know we know what you're trying to do. Right, going back right. to like I'm gonna get you sucker. Right, true, mm -hmm. true. In this particular film, there was nobody to vouch for the try. Right, right. So, so the people that that were able to say this movie was fucking trash, there was right. nobody to counteract them and say, right. wait a minute. Exactly. Right. Wait a minute. This and is so, actually funny. Let's let it be funny. Because yeah. the pedigree just was be there. Funny. The resume is there with the Wayne Brothers. It so, mm -hmm. so had had it been ended in had it been oh, NWA that. and it could have been like Nicholas and and uh and Walter Airlines mm -hmm. and it could have been the Wayne Brothers, the younger ones, yeah, Marlon and Sean. Had they been the owners of this, let's say that uh Sean and Marlon were on the plane, Sean would be the one getting his ass stuck mm -hmm. inside the toilet but yep. toilet. Right. Yep. And then uh, Sean kicks the door down trying to help him. They both get their dog killed. Yep. And now they both in court. And they both get $100 million. Mm -hmm. I mean, $100 million, $100 million together. Mm -hmm. $100 million together. And uh, now there is their airline, I think, because they're, they did uh, um, White Chicks White. after. Yeah, wasn't it? it was after. But still, like, that's... If they were, they're the Wayans brothers. The White right. Chicks, they had scary this show, movie, like you know, a scary movie, movie already. Uh, what, they, yeah, like if, the, if you give the Wayans the keys to Soul Plane, I think. Oh it's yeah, a, it's, I yeah. think it's a it's a Wayans film now. Yeah, yeah. Different, yeah. different, you know I mean? so, different movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we will have some story there. We'll, we'll some be yeah. finished off. Mm -hmm. And I think you could, and the story could stay the same even with the two characters because uh, Sean would have had the love interest, mm -hmm. right? And um, they were able to give Marlon the goofy shit to do, mm -hmm. like, uh, and and he could have did more stuff. Yeah. You know what yeah, this man. this movie is to like some like kind of not not to sum it up because you know d d we can get into some characters some recasts you know what I mean? right, right, we can get right. to the award right. but it almost kind of reminds me of like like the difference between playing like street football and 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 like league football right and street football just your hike. And nigga get open. Right. Everybody right. just get open, right? Yeah, this guy see. running a button hook. This, you uh -huh. know what I mean? This guy's running Ain't along. nobody blitzing. Ain't nobody, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just, we just, it's kind of chaos until the quarterback throws the ball and then you do it again. Right. Versus like more professional football, you're going to go 10 yards. Mm hmm Ten right. choice route. Right. You're going route. to run a post, uh -huh. right? You know, we're going to run gonna a play back. action, yeah. da, da 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 So I feel like you had all of this talent in this movie basically playing street football. Right. Right? right, like you know, just everybody just doing what they doing. Monique just doing what she does. Uh -huh. Still, and there's no quarterback either as a director or mm -hmm. as a story or a narrative to bring it together. And I because it's so it's so chaotic from the moment we get really rolling to the end is why this movie fucking suffers. It kind of feels like the the cockpit scenes. It's different from the low cat, the, the, the low class scene. Like it's yeah. like two different movies. Right. It's three you know different movies. Yeah, three yes. different, because because first class is different. Right. Like there's a there's a movie happening in first, first class. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a movie happening in the cockpit. It, it, and there's yeah. a movie happening in, in low, low low class. Right. It's like three different movies happening. Yes. Um, we haven't talked about Flame yet. Flame. Oh. Uh, Gary Anthony Williams, <laughs> man. That dude's hilarious, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Flame. I think he helped the movie a lot uh, with Flame the jokes, mm -hmm. and, and I, I don't know <laughs> if in two thousand and twenty two that those those his same character would would still be successful mm -hmm. yeah. or allowed. I should say. I mean, you uh, could still do flam flamboyant gay in television now. Yeah, you know, you you yeah, you, 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 I think you could still. Yeah, I mean, you see it more now. Probably so. Probably yeah. so. <laughs> he said. Oh, uh, what do you say? And it, it, I think it, I had to be ad libs, bro, because every time they would come on, uh -huh. like, a scene with Flame was in it, he was always saying something outlandish at the beginning of the scene. You know, I, I be like, in my sketches, I like to do the same thing. I, like, like when you like the camera comes in on the conversation that we're already having. Right, right. right. I was like, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because he had 13 toes. I was like, damn, nigga, I got to look all 13. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, That's right, 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 right. right. You say action, and you start, yeah. you, you mm -hmm. going to. Uh, one of my sketches, it'll start off with a conversation that we already having, mm -hmm. and it's the middle of it. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying, yeah, bro. 
So it was cool, man, but her breath stank, man. I was like, her burp smelled like like a fart. Man. You know what right. I'm so that's the conversation we having. <laughs> right. So it's saying he was doing the same shit. <laughs> like they 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 cut in on, on the conversation. He was like, "Yeah, he he tastes like chocolate." Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I started dying, bro. Paul it had to be ad libs. I had to be ad libs, bro. Ad libs, yeah. Sure, he, like he just like I bet like he did that scene like twelve different ways. Yes, yes. I, I bet man, he's underrated though. Oh he, yeah, man, as as a performer, oh, yeah, like, you know, man. like that's the same guy that does Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, man. from the Boondocks. Uh, yep. Right, that, like that's his, that's his voice. Yeah, that's, that's Uncle Ruckus. Same oh, dude. That's Damn, Uncle I didn't know that. He's yeah. just good. Like he can play a yeah. a, a posh, el- educated guy. Yes. Yep. He can play a thug. Yep. Yes. He can play obviously play a gay, gay. man. Uh-huh. Like you know, it's full of he's <laughs> super talented. <laughs> I'm a survivor. <laughs> right. And then, then it came. It, it moved from the TV and the pan to him. He was like. <laughs> the face that hilarious, yeah, that's bro. So funny. Job, mm-hmm. And that and that part is not like that's that's what lets you know that, that the movie was on the right track because that's how Virgin Airlines does does their their safety. You know what I mean? Right. Like like with the, oh, the really? song and dance, like you know, I never flown. Yeah. yeah, like like if you fly Virgin, um, well, like like. You know, I'm not sure if they could still do it, but for years, uh-huh. it, their 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 safety procedure was a video that right. was a music video, uh-huh. and it basically was like you know when bulky seat built in, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean, yeah. like the dancing girls little, and everything little, like that, little, uh, <laughs> Broadway like, play, yeah, yeah. So like it wasn't that that far fetched what right. they what they was doing, uh-huh. but it was funny. Like the pan, like the the pan hey. from. <laughs> I from the TV. Yeah, from the TV, he was, he was, he was, he was feeling the it. Yeah, he was feeling and then it. everyone was clapping. He was like, "Yeah, he was feeling it." <laughs> That's funny. <to> me, bro. <laughs> the 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 low class. That was another thing that kind of like didn't make sense. Is that like Kevin Hart's character is supposed to be like fighting for dignity mm-hmm. for like. Flyers, right? Uh-huh. Like you know, that's a big motivation. The, so, like, why is low class so busted? Then, like, like <sighs> mm-hmm. this is just poor management. You got all this money, all this money, and, and your low class should look better like, than that, man, man yeah. bro. Yeah, but for the sake of the joke, they had to force. Yeah, and, like, sometimes a joke can seem forced mm-hmm. because it, you know, when I say forced, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't yeah. make sense for you got a, a hundred million dollar airline. And you got people standing up in the back. Yeah. Like, right. 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 I'm cool with the joke. I get it's it. Funny. I get it. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. Sometimes you got also... to kill the babies. Yeah. Yeah. I see exactly. Mm-hmm. I see it as, okay, y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all going over the top. I hope they yeah. understand what that mean when I say that. <laughs> kill the babies. Break it down to them. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Sometimes you might have a funny joke. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it just might not work. For uh, for for the movie, for the scene, or whatever exactly. the case it is, so you just gotta let it go. Let it go, man. Yeah. You gotta let it go. You know I I mean, I like I feel like, like I would love because this movie is such an interesting movie mm-hmm. because it's it's beloved and hated at the same time. Yeah. Like it's beloved and hated at the same time. And as I like rewatch it, like I don't feel like the hate is justified. Right. It's not that bad of a movie. Yeah. Nah. It's yeah. not as, as bad as they talk it about right. it. Yeah. As bad as they talk about it, it's not yeah. that bad. Yeah, because I remember like when we watching it, I was just I was just waiting for like, all right, white white boys in love mm-hmm. with the black culture. Okay, cool. And I'm like, waiting for some more. And I'm like, huh. Yeah, yeah I, I ain't I mean it's Tap dance a little bit, yeah, right, right. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. But you gonna do that? Yeah, in, in but there's kind nothing of that I hate, right? There's, right, there's, yeah. Like there's never like there's never any part of the movie where I was like, that's some bullshit, right? Right. Like like it just because I because I want to like like I I love when black creators tap into that space. Mm-hmm. It's a like it's it's a missed space. So as mm-hmm. I as I've watched. So, um, so playing more and more, the propaganda around the film has fallen off. Mm. The veneer is pulled back, and now I was able to watch it just simply for what it was, right? And was able to be like, okay, it's not excellent. Here's why, right? Right. But I don't think there's anything that they did in this movie that they should not have done. Right. That they right. should not have done. Right. There were more things that they should have done, but there was nothing that I was like. The Popeyes was too much, right? Yeah, nah. Nah. yeah. You can push That's those. Hilarious. Bar- it was you funny. Push, you can push those boundaries. You're supposed Here's to be the able thing. To push it. I'm gonna mm-hmm. keep it hundred. If I go to Southwest mm-hmm. or NWA Airlines or Delta mm-hmm. or whatever, mm-hmm. and they say we got buckets and buckets and boxes of Popeyes chicken in the back, mm-hmm. we want to serve it to you guys, but we ran out of plates. But we have paper towels galore. 
<laughs> nigga, see if you don't send that chick in my way uh -huh. and that pepper towel, I'm fucking that <laughs> shit up, on, bro. Man. Right. I'm eating it. You know what I'm right. saying? So I'm okay. Give me my two piece <laughs> and a biscuit. And uh, um, and I, I feel like I've seen white people in Popeyes, bro. So right. it's not mm -hmm. that I don't the whole black people eating chicken thing. I don't right. have a problem with yeah, I love chicken. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think I, don't, and I love watermelon. I love watermelon yeah. and chicken. It's not because I'm black. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm That's cool with that. It's because it's delicious. It's good. delicious as fuck, right, man. So um I'm cool with that gag. A lot of the stuff I'm cool with. I don't think they went yeah. too far with certain things. I think they might have mm -hmm. put they might have put too much in it. Like too many right. jokes that didn't go yeah. right. there. It's a funny joke, but okay. I think there's certain uh, certain plots and subplots mm -hmm. in the movie that could have been developed more and better right. and spent yeah. more time on Agreed. without all these individual gags. I am uh, I'm probably putting you all on the spot. And okay. so if I am like, you know, just just be like, no, nah, I, I need more time. But like if it's if it's 2023 and like they pull you into the writer's room for like the soul plane, like reboot, re rewrite. What's uh, the one gag that 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 you that you think you might add to the to the movie? So like for me, I was thinking about it okay. like it has something to do with like like Instagram likes, like uh -huh. like like if you get enough likes, okay, that's how you get uh, upgraded. You know what I mean to yeah. like to like first class, right? So, like you know, uh, so if yeah. you ain't got no followers, if you got a, like a like yeah. a low social media profile, oh, you in low class, you yeah. you in low class. Oh, you got a blue check, <laughs> right? You but got I, a blue but check. I have you got money, blue. yeah. I have money, yeah, but people aren't engaged. Yeah, in people aren't yeah, engaged, right? right. Yeah. You know, I don't have any engagement. So, I would, like, I would, you're low class. I'd bring that in, like, that's you know, right. so like, so like, but if you take a selfie or some, you know, some pops off for you, that's uh -huh. how you can get your upgrade, right? So, like, you know, where, so where you are is not about money, but mm -hmm. rather status. all about social status. Yeah, uh -huh. like that would be like my little gag that I would add. That's funny right. as shit. Um, because battle rapping is super cracking right now. I'll probably have that in that club. It would be like a battle rap uh, ran, arena, <laughs> right? And somebody go in there and, and battle like some random person out of the, mm -hmm. the crew. I like the, that. I think that would be battle, funny. Like, and have, if you're gonna have celebrities in there, mm -hmm. I would have like Charlie Clips in there, or Tay Rock, or yeah, yeah. Sue Surf, or yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hitman Holla. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Certain, I mean, I would do that. I would make it a little bit more uh, upgraded to today's time as far as what's cracking. Maybe have like the battle rappers like do the do the safety video. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, you know, this I mean, nigga pulls his mask down. <laughs> first, and, and he put the mask on last. Put the mask on last. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some shit. Uh, <laughs> right. Make it funny. But, but, right. but uh, I feel like I got a good, I got a good understanding of what's corny mm -hmm. and what's funny. Because even though I could be like, okay, this is corny, but I'm doing it anyways because it's supposed to be corny mm -hmm. okay. right here and there. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I find that battle rap have, will have to not be corny. Mm -hmm. I think... And, Oh my bag, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And it, it just had to be potent. It's super yeah. hard. Yeah. I think I would ask something like maybe uh maybe like a section uh like if I could touch on like the comment section like in Shade Room, like certain 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 mm -hmm. uh, uh certain uh web certain uh social media sites, yeah. you know, they got they they you know the comment section is yeah. gonna go crazy. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So if it's right. if it's something like a, I don't know, uh -huh. like like a room in the in, in in on the plane where we can where we're this it's just it's just that nigga Ar arguments are funny arguments yeah, are funny, yeah. different perspectives are, right different takes on different things and that plane is so like big like the comment lounge yeah like the comment right. yeah <laughs> right like everybody in there is just yeah yeah <laughs> Mind, not minding their own business right, right. Exactly. exactly I think that uh, that place had that plane would have unlimited rooms yeah because it's a big plane from the outside mm -hmm. and they had a big ass club in there they had uh, I right. had, had like a private a, a, a lounge that's super popping, the first mm -hmm. class lounge, mm -hmm. and then um, low class, and then even lower class, yeah. niggas standing up. They had unlimited room. Yeah. So I would have had like a, a all kinds of places in there, like a, a hotel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, you go in there and get it cracking. You just get in there and play 2K. A movie theater. The, the 2K yeah. room. Yeah, it's a 2K room. Yeah. The Magic yeah. Johnson movie theater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that type of shit, man. Um, okay. So, so let's go to. The awards okay. portion of, of the show. All right. Okay. So we're going to give out the MVP of Soul Plane. Who's the MVP of Soul Plane? <clears throat> mm. The MVP of Soul Plane. MVP would have to be, and once again, there's, there's mm -hmm. so many characters in this movie that didn't right. really. Right. St they stood out, but they didn't really stand out. They didn't get the shine because they they, they, they got time, but not shine. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. You yeah. saw them, but so I I, I I would have to stick with a uh, um, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, the Sean Wade. 
for me, the MVP is low class. Low like, class. The every, MVP? Everything I everything I okay. love about this movie comes from low, low, low class. class. That's good. It's relatable. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, every, that's everything it. that I fuck with, all the best parts of this movie happen in, in low class. Yes. So that's my to me, it saves the movie. That's the MVP. Yeah. No, nah, man, that's a damn, that's a that's good a one. good point. Mm-hmm. That's a great point. Uh MVP. Yeah, I would say Kevin Hart too. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I would say Kevin Hart too, man. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. what he means, what he was, yeah. what he became. I think um the characters are funny. But Blind Man was super funny. Yeah. Um, D.L. Hooley was okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh yeah, I feel like it was too much going on. You know, you ever yeah, heard yeah. you ever you ever heard of I I, remember, I have a, a few producer homies, guys that make music, mm-hmm. and one guy was critiquing another uh, fellow producer of his of his homeboys. He was like, "Man, the song is too busy. The yeah. beat, the yeah. beat was just, had too much too going much, on. Too much happening. Yeah, yeah. Too much we haven't even laid the vocals yet. Right, you right, right. got too much going on. Take take them take some of them drums out. Yeah, take yep. some of them. Saying, yep. mm-hmm. you got horns in there. Take them horns out, bro. Yeah. Not for this song. Yeah, too much. So I feel like this is that too much going on. They they tried mm-hmm. to make it too much like a. Uh, Wayne's brother production it seemed yeah. like and they, they might have they might didn't have the right far. skills yeah right least but, valuable player Whoop. ooh they had they had some uh some mo- some but they had some had good potential mo- had potential least valuable potential. player least Muggsy. valuable player who Muggsy mm. uh that's uh, a uh, uh, red man. man I mean Method Man Method Man Method Man yeah yeah he needed to be there unnecessary yeah, yeah he wasn't necessary right. uh for me like to me all of the honkies. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. Wife. I was really yeah. gonna say the wife for sure. The, the wife for show. The it, girlfriend was just too. Oh my god! Yeah, she, she was too. Yeah, she was quintessential. We could have been without this, her. Yeah, and even yeah. like the little boy. The reason why I wouldn't give it to the little boy, he's unnecessary. But at least he his parts he did well. Yeah, he, he performed it well. Like you know when he was talking slang, <laughs> right? Shit, yeah. like, it worked. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know when he was you know on on the set pretending to be a director. Like at least it should work, but right. but the mom, the 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 girlfriend, yeah, the girlfriend honky, girlfriend for and, sure, and the, and the daughter, yeah, like, yeah. They she both did, were she, she didn't deserve. She was not. She wasn't nice. She was stuck up, mm-hmm. disrespecting her dad. He was a loser. Yeah, allowing his daughter to talk to him crazy. Come on, man, Buster's. You know, right. everyone knows mm-hmm. I hate Buster's. You know I, I would have gave, and and I love him. I w- I would have gave some more and uh your boy uh Brian Hooks <laughs> took a little bit of time away from them and gave it somewhere else. Yeah. Right. Yep. True. You know what I mean? Yep. I get it. Like the, like the beat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Take the horns out. Yeah. Right. Use those horns as right. the core, you know what I mean, yeah. of, of another of yeah. another track. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've already kind of like, you know, played the 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 what if in the 2022. So I think we should go right to the ranking. Right? The fist. Right to the fist. Yeah. So, you know, mm-hmm. five fists, all time classic, you know, one fist, black black people got paid. How do you rank Soul Plane on a scale of one to five black fists? One to five black fists, I say three. Yeah. I say three. Mm-hmm. Like I said, the gags, they were funny. They had a lot of funny moments. Uh, it wasn't as bad as 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 I, as I thought. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I would have liked them to button up some uh some arcs. Yep. Uh, for the story. Uh, other than that, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, give it a three. I. And one hundred percent with you. Yeah. Right. If you would ask me before this last rewatch, mm-hmm. I'd have gave it a two, mm-hmm. maybe even a one. Damn. Mm-hmm. Just because of the reputation, the yeah, stake right, right, right. on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. It makes but sense. After this last rewatch, I was able to look at this thing through objective eyes mm-hmm. right. and really be like, it's not that bad. Yeah. In fact, like it's kind of fun. Yeah. It's just like it's a fun little yeah. ride. It's the only. It's the only mm-hmm. film like it. Yeah. A mm-hmm. plane, they 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 tricked out a plane and made right. like a party on the mm-hmm. plane. Like, right. I thought it was dope. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I still give it a three as well, though. Three. I give it a three because uh, of the storyline towards the end. I think it. I think the story. I think the movie was very entertaining, and it was. I think right. every. I, I like the Brian Hooks character and, and some more. Yeah, yeah. They were funny. Right. They weren't necessarily necessarily needed. Yeah, they didn't yeah. help the plot, the overall plot, right. at all. They weren't part right. of that. So. Nobody really helps the overall plot. Yeah. <laughs> in, yeah, in the I mean, movie. It, That's why except for right, right. except for low class, true, right? <laughs> but when you have when you yeah. have a star set of cast like this, yeah, super funny people, uh, God 
Joffrey, you got Snoop, who's a superstar. Mm-hmm, you got uh, John Witherspoon, uh, Kevin yep. Hart, Tom Arnold. You got you got guys who are going to make a movie funny. Yeah, right. But it wasn't the best written film. Yeah, right. Um, right. You're supposed to be putting up more points. Right. With with that roster. Yeah. Right. With, right. With with that, yes. it almost kind of reminds me. Like, remember when the Lakers? I know you know. Towards the end of the podcast, remember remember that one team that the Lakers had? It was Gary Payton, yeah, and Carl Malone. It was Carl yeah. Malone. It was uh-huh. like that team. You supposed to put up most more points. Yes. You supposed to win. That's what the that's what the cast was. Right? Were they like, bad? No, no, they weren't no, bad no. at all. But they no. they, they were supposed they to be top all. tier yep. team. Yeah, they went to the yeah, ship. <laughs> they did. Hey, man. This is fun, bro. Yes, sir. Brother it Dean, was. man, mm-hmm. thank you so much, man, bro. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. Yes, man. You'll definitely man. be back if you if you want to. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, man. Come on. Absolutely, man. Uh, that's the, that concludes our episode of Soul Plane on Blackbusters. Uh, we had fun doing it, man. Yeah. Um, good good movie. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, man. That, uh, a a choky <laughs> ass yeah. outro. That's that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What, what was he eating uh, the, at the beginning? Uh, shit, that, 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 that's the beef strogi. That beef strogi got me on bubble that's right now. Strogi's catching up. Hey, 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 I'm about to go take care of myself. Right, right exactly. Hey, we have fun, man. Shout out to Kevin Hart and then the rest of the cast. It was yeah, dope yeah, ass show. Yeah, dope, yeah. dope ass film. Funny. Um, till next time, y'all. Love life. Be good or be good at it, man. Your host, Big Ja, mm-hmm. brother Tone, yes, sir, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Our special guest, Dean Will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll catch y'all next yeah. time, man. Pew to the max. Black Busters.